Holy shit, you're beautiful. Hi everyone, it's Miki and welcome to Chupacabra Outdoor. My oh my, have I waited to check this gun out. Thanks a lot to Matteo from Barbarossa Software Shop for letting me take a look at this bad boy. Definitely check out his shop at www.barbarossasoftair.it or by clicking the link in the description below for top quality airsoft equipment. These guys are also helping us out with the Digital Observer project and we are looking forward to do some great stuff together. Alright guys, back to the review. This is the Tokyo Marui Scar Heavy, based on the 762 Mark 17 platform made by Belgium's Fabrique Nationale Duerstal, or else known by their acronym FNH. This assault rifle is widely used by Special Forces guys, such as SEALs and MARSOC, mainly for its great stopping power. Tokyo Marui did an excellent job with this gun, a great looking outperforming next gen AG. For those who don't know, next gen AGs are all about recoil, function in bulkage with empty mech system, and they're easily the most accurate and reliable guns out of the box. From the inside out, we got a gearbox shooting around 280 FPS, which might not seem a lot for some of you guys, but I can assure you that this gun will outrange most of the higher output ASGs on the field, thanks to its amazing op-up system. The inner barrel is a 300mm 6.08 brass inner barrel. As for every Tokyo Maru gun, internal upgrades should be considered more as an overall. Japanese laws are very strict when it comes to FPS regulations. These gearboxes are made in order to discourage quick and easy FPS upgrades, so consider at least steel gears and piston in case you want to upgrade it. Once again, this gun shoots fantastic out of the box, and you might just want to leave them be and go have fun with them. The recoil feels nice, and this car actually has an heavier recoil weight to compensate the shorter weight travel distance compared, let's say, to the M4 next gen, in which the weight travels all along the buffer tube. The functioning bulkage with empty max system is a neat feature, which adds some realism and avoids letting the opponent see you running out of BBs. On the outside, just like the real steel, we got polymer lower body and stock, and aluminum upper receiver and front rail. The flat, dark curved color is a tad darker than it's supposed to, but the details are very impressive. We also got M by Dextro's selector switches and mag releases, foldable and retractable stock, and foldable adjustable sides, which are very accurate as in every Tokyo Marui rifle. I know, it's a matter of taste, but I absolutely love the ergonomics and design of these car platforms, and we're starting to see more and more weapon manufacturers go in this direction. The mags are obviously bulkier than the 5.56s, and you're gonna need appropriate pouches. The gun comes with a 90 rounds mid-cap metal magazine. On the VFC's cars, there are no visible wirings between the gearbox and the stock. Not in this case, but I much rather have it this way, and I'll tell you why. On the VFC's cars, there's plenty of electric dispersion. A direct wiring, despite the appearance, is much more reliable and will carry all the power from the battery to the motor. The battery space on this gun isn't that much, but you can easily fit a pack type battery inside the stock. Also, outer barrel extension, instruction manual and BBs are provided with the gun. All of these features, especially accuracy and reliability, 100% justifies the higher price of a next gen AG. I personally own a TM M4 Submod and the HK 416D. Been rocking them for years and never had an issue, even back then when they were stuck. This car H is actually quite hard to find nowadays, but you can find it available at barbarossasoftair.it. These guys will also help you out in case you want to upgrade it. Alright guys, that's about it, I hope you enjoyed the review, I'll see you Wednesday for the next one. Until then, take care and stay safe out there!